turn into a zombie. Don't hesitate. I want your word that you'll kill me. Hey there guys, I'm back with episode 8 of Resident Evil 3. So last we left off, Jill had a little bit of a run in with Nemesis, her old friend, and uh, it didn't go too well. Uh, Jill ended up, you know, defeating Nemesis in the end, but Nemesis did infect her with the T-Virus. Now, the T-Virus is in its early stages. And we just found out that there is, in fact, a vaccine that can be applied to Jill um, within the first few stages of the year uh, of being infected. So, Carlos, as you can clearly see, we're in control of him now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Carlos is going to go ahead and find the vaccine for Jill. There's a hospital not too far from uh, this area, which uh, was owned and run, of course, by Umbrella, and therefore they did a bit of experimentation there. I believe this um, hospital was maybe pawning uh, off some of its um, crappier or possibly even failed experiments off to this uh, to this hospital. If you recall, they have a, like a state-of-the-art facility just on the outskirts of the city. But this one, um, they've clearly just pawned off some of their, you know, smaller projects to the uh, hospital. Granted, most people are in the dark about it. And we know there's a vaccine because we're going to go ahead and see this um, mercenary that we saw before and this teenage girl that's sort of hidden here. The enemies that are in this room are, can be, uh, will spawn differently every time. Sometimes it's spiders, sometimes it's those things. Um, either way, they're both poisonous, so watch out. And Carlos doesn't have any blue herbs yet, so if you get infected, you're fucked. So as I said, this is the mercenary here. Now, if you were to read his note, he tells you that he took the vaccine but unfortunately he sustained multiple bites and it doesn't work for multiple bites, only just for a small infection. And judging by the blood spatter on the wall, I'd say he killed himself. Now in my previous episode, Jill tried to move this bell but she couldn't do it. Luckily Carlos is you know, strong enough to do it, so now we're going to head out. See, you'll notice here that the um, this zombie is in fact the doctor. He's got the lab coat on, tie. There we go. Now that door we can't get into. Only Jill can get into it because it's a simple lock, and Carlos doesn't have a lock key. So I'm not going to lie, I've done this episode a couple times because um, I've had serious recording issues as well as the fact I even ran into Nemesis, which we're going to get into about a bit later. Before I proceed any further ahead, I'm going to tell you about this other creature called the Hunters. Now when I walk forward, I'm going to sort of trigger a cutscene. Uh, the Hunters we're going to face right now are called the Beta Hunters, meaning that they're the B team, they're not as strong as their Alpha brethren. They are basically rejects, they're covered in these blisters, and basically they're unstable.
these enemies here have been shot in the head. Now I believe that a um, Vincent, I think his name is, um, came through here and shot these guys in the head as sort of like a means to get in. Oh, there's also another guy in here too, a um, another mercenary in the hospital. As I said before, I've had a couple um, goes at this level. That's because it just messed up. Basically, it either stopped recording or I ran into Nemesis, Nemesis and died. Which was a total pain in the ass. So obviously, save room. There is a first aid spray right here. We're going to go ahead and take this. Now, you want to take everything. Um, don't leave anything behind because you don't get to come back to the hospital after it's uh, after you leave, essentially. So you want to leave all, give all this stuff to Carlos. on you at all times. There seems to be some kind of um, new monster. It resembles some kind of uh, leech or snake. It's possible that there were even a parasite that got simply infected by the T-virus and has beautifully mutated. I wouldn't be surprised if they sort of burst out from someone. Sometimes you see them, sometimes you don't get them in this uh, hospital, but you will eventually get them at some point. And take the tape recorder. There's a box of donuts. Who wouldn't scoff their face right here, right now? I mean, the guy's been working, you know, 24-7, trying to, you know, get everything into order. He would scoff his face, and I would too. Please enter your voice. There also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. However... That's creepy as hell. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to the basement. It doesn't matter which order you go into, you just um, pick one. So as I said, we're going to go retrieve a vaccine. But the vaccine is in two components, one on each floor. And each floor has its own little puzzle in order to solve it. Sometimes when you open this door, there'll be a horde of zombies in here. Sometimes it's in the basement, sometimes it's on the top floor. It's randomly generated, but you will run into it at one point. So I'm guessing, you know, they weren't here. So when I go up to the fourth floor, when I open the door, I'm gonna be dealt with a pack of zombies. Now, here's another cutscene up ahead. Um, it's going to show that the um, Umbrella mercenaries were here for a lot more than to, just to help people. I've obviously pointed out before that there's explosives has been planted all around. I'm guessing that Umbrella ma perhaps made a couple little deals on the side, either when things went wrong or even before the whole thing started. But perhaps some were just to get um, survivors and the rest were to plant explosives and gather evidence, which we're going to go and see right here. I had no idea another guinea pig was still alive. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? Sometimes it's easy to forget one's loyalties. Just like that traitor. You mean the guy who shot you? Yeah, you know him. The one with the gray hair and the ugly mug. I can't believe he had the guts to shoot me. That traitor! You mean Nikolai? Nikolai, that was his name. Ah! So obviously he was there to retrieve some something from this safe here. I don't know what it was, so... Umbrella has definitely got its ties up all in the, um, you know, staff members of the uh, Umbrella Corporation. 
Now oh. we're going to move into this next area here now. You, it's, a, it's a basic puzzle. I'm, going, I'm just going to go straight up and show you how to do it. Uh, the exact combination you need. So you'll notice that one of these containers is smashed. Inside these two containers are, you know, more hunters. And unfortunately for you, these are the alpha hunters, which are blue in color. They're also extremely strong, far, they're, uh, faster, stronger, and uh, deal more damage. So this little note here will tell you how to actually use the machine. Basically, you need to get these two levels right. So there's not enough power running these tanks, which is keeping them in storage, and to run the um, vaccine machine. So we're going to have to divert power from these tanks to the um, device. Will you switch the electrical yeah. supply? Yeah. And they will break out as soon as you try to leave, or when you've done the vaccine. So what you want to do is you want to put the base into the machine. Now the code is 13A. Size up and load. Hey. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get the other um, vaccine base, mix them together, then we have a full vaccine, and we're going to give that to Jill. Obviously, we're going to run into more than a couple little dangers on the way there. Now remember, these guys are very strong, they do a lot of damage, so I recommend just cheesing it. That's all it took. So now we're just going to head straight out. Back to the elevator, get out of this area. Since I'm injured, I'm going to go ahead and take this herb. Fine again. Hooray! Now, obviously, we need to head to the fourth floor. Now, this is just the standard part of the hospital. There's nothing, you know, really unique about it. So, as I said, there's something more than you know, randomly generated be either one or the other. here sucks. I mean, it's, you can't upgrade it. Basically like a little pea shooter. So I did sustain some more damage. Now, obviously, another explosive device. Uh, that's going to detonate soon. Now, we're going to get cheesed and we're going to get the fuck out of here. But we're going to go into this uh, side room here. This is because there's the key to another room that we need. Also some bonus material. Now there are more hunters in here. Luckily they're beta hunters, so just whip out your um, assault rifle and you know shoot anything that moves. Come on. As you can see, there's some um, pistol ammo on the desk there. I've sustained some more damage, so... I was afraid that wouldn't work there. We're going to have to go around here and pick it up. Yes, I will take the handgun bullet bullets, thank you. Now, 
Now this is going to give us the key, our postcard. Will you take the uh, key to the sick room? Yes, we will. Photo. So obviously the doctors here had some idea what was going on because it actually written on this card. The zombies are walking. And on the back of it, it says, it says the effect of the T-virus on the backside. So some of the doctors here uh, knew what the T-virus was and how it was, you know, affecting people. Really nothing here, just medical crap. Now we're going to head into these side rooms that we saw before. Now, once again, we have um, like two random enemies. It's either going to be zombies or these new parasite snake things. Uh, when we go through 401. Um, if it's the zombies, just whip out the pistol. Uh, if it's the snakes, whip out the assault rifle. But we're going to find out as soon as we open it up. I'm kind of hoping it's snakes so that way I could show you. So that's what they look like. They've got weird uh, faces too. Alright, so we're done. Now you could just look at the doctor, find out what he's got and then um, go from there. So we're going to look at this doctor. Now he'll have something in his hand. He's holding a slip. The number is 104 printed on the slip. Okay. Once again, this remember this is a Resident Evil game. So they have like weird lock systems and weird hiding places. It just doesn't make much sense why a hospital like this would have this. But it does. So we're going to enter 402. And we're going to use the key. And we're going to get rid of the key. You discard it. But anyway, you can save it if you want. This is because once you finish the game and you got it in for you, you can keep it in your inventory and transfer your inventory over to the new game. That way, you don't have to, you know, run, in, run off and get the key. You can fast through the game, which is good if you want to attempt some kind of speed run. So we've got these little platforms in each corner of the room. Now, what we have to do is move this little tray thing over to each uh, to one of the corners. Now, if it's the wrong one, you'll get shocked. You'll have to leave the room and come back and the cabinet, will, cabinet thing will sort of respawn back in its original position. If it's the right one, um, this painting will fall off the wall. See if we can inspect the painting. Arle Mountains. <laughs> that was crazy. So, just um, try. See, I got shocked. So, we've got to try th um, at least three, um, at least one more time. Uh, basically, uh, it's any it's randomly generated. Uh, it's not the same one over and over again. So, you're going to have to just walk out and try back again. Now, this is kind of a pain in the ass of the game. Quite frankly, I don't even really know why they kept this in here. I'm going to try the two closest ones because I'm just hoping it really is these two closest ones and that we don't have to really go to ex any, effort, any extra effort. My fingers crossed it'll be this corner one. <laughs> Damn it, it didn't work. So now we've got a 50-50 chance of actually doing it right this time. I'm going to make this episode short and sweet because I have struggled to record this before. Um, basically, I've knocked the little recording device. Uh, it's starting to maybe get a bit tired, I would say, this little device. Um, 
it is really cheap and I have been using it um, almost every day for at least you know an hour or so an hour or so so I don't know how well it's holding up but it seems to be having a lot of trouble um, just simply recording what's going on hooray I did it remember it was 104 Things to have been placed here. It's locked. Number base locked. First digit is one. Second digit. And if you think you can just copy this, you can't. The number is different every time. Thank you. So we're going to combine this with this and now we have a fully functioning um, vaccine now we're going to give this to Jill and she's going to be okay so everything will be okay unfortunately um, now I mentioned before that I basically died because I ran into Nemesis and that's true he is going to show up when we get back inside the clock tower um, as I mentioned in one of my previous episodes as well, he is going to be very pissed off. Look at the first floor. Um, you see, the more damage Nemesis takes, the more he sort of mutates. Mutates. It's kind of like his repair system. Um, he can regenerate in you know, a huge, uh, huge, you know, amounts of damage and all that. Right here, he's um, he basically mutates and he's going to get very aggressive. He's already aggressive now, but he's already he was aggressive before, but now he's really pissed off and uh, very strong. He's got these tentacles that are just like coming out of his back and everything, so he looks really gross. He's all roided up. Now, that's going to happen a couple times throughout the game as well. Uh, we're going to defeat him. Um, and he's going to come back bigger and stronger every time. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put... I'm going to keep the blue herb just in case I get infected or something. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save it now. I'm taking the risk that um, my little device might give out on me. However, I remember the last time I got really far, I got so close, and Nemesis got me. And he, since he's uh, mutated more now, he's got uh, new abilities. Basically, he can stretch out his tentacles much farther than he could before. And he basically wraps him around me, in a sense, and uh, starts like picking me up and throwing me on the ground, picking me up, throwing me on the ground. And, he actually does that. He throws you around like a rag doll because he's an asshole. So there seems to be a timer-based bomb. Basically, you've got 20 seconds to cheese it. There's nothing left in this building. And this is going to trigger an awesome cutscene up ahead. As I mentioned many times before, this is on the original console, this is on the uh, original Nintendo GameCube. It's not like on the Nintendo Wii or the Nintendo U. Um, These are the, this is the original console. I thought these things were supposed to be gone. If you bit me too, I might be poisoned. 
You're definitely going to go with the leech. Because of the way that sort of swelled up and got red. Uh, there's a good chance I am poisoned. I'm fine. Didn't really sustain any damage. Now, um, we're just going to go ahead and cheese it to the main hall. And then we're going to run into Nemesis. Um, the new Nemesis, I should say. He has changed uh, quite considerably. I think you can fight him. I recommend you fight him if you've got, like, the, um... You know, if you played before and you're, you know, going through it again. But this time we're not. Because we will get our asses kicked. So that's obviously him up there. Um, don't gloat. Because I actually did that last time. I sort of gloated. It's like, oh, you're not going to get me. You're not going to get me. You got me. Get to Jill as fast as you can. Now, just walking up here will trigger the cutscene. Don't interact with him. Just turn right right around and keep going to Jill. He's showing us his new look. Considerably stronger as well, both in defense and attack. Now he will follow you in here if you if you take too long. Cheese it as fast as you can. Stop. See if you have waited too long, he would be right on your ass right then and there. So that's where I died before, he sort of wrapped his tentacle around me and just started picking me up and hitting me back and forth, it was insane. So Jill um, is going to run into Nemesis as well when she gets out of there, but when she gets out of the clock tower she should be relatively fine. Um, remember she's got the simple lock, so basically you want to go into that office that we first saw. Uh, the, uh, the hospital is in pieces, so there's no point going back. Now we're going to go see a part that I haven't seen for a very long time. Hey! Are you okay? Yes. Barely. What's going on? No way! That monster just doesn't give up! What? I thought we killed that thing! No, it's been waiting for you. Stars. He's playing with us. Carlos, do you think that it's unstoppable? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry, Jill, but I've got to go take care of a few things. Oh, and bad news. Nikolai is still alive. Nikolai? Are you sure? Yes. I don't know how, but I do know that he is our enemy. Remember, don't trust him. So now we are playing as Jill Valentine again. I'm going to go ahead and save it because that was one hell of an ordeal that I don't want to deal with again. I'm going to get it over and done with. So, you know, like and subscribe to my channel already uh, if you haven't already done it. So. Um, leave a comment of what you think I may have missed, or what you think I should do a little differently, or, 